Hey guys, Matt from Evolve Fitness here. This one has come as somewhat as a request, um, and the request was, does spicy food make you lose fat? Now before we go into that, I think it's really important to quickly understand why spicy food is actually spicy. Um, when you take something such as a pepper and you put it in your mouth, it actually activates pain receptors because it tricks your brain to think it's hot. So these pain receptors called TRPV1 would only actually be activated if you put hot food into your mouth. This is because of a chemical compound called capsaicin that's inside of pepper. And what that does is then sends that same signal that hot food would to the brain to say, hey, what you put in is way too hot to swallow. Funny thing is, when you swallow, it can still attach these receptors all the way down and your body, in extreme cases, can actually create blisters and what have you on the way down because it thinks that this food is so hot, so it's actually trying to protect you. This is also why your eyes start to, to water and you start to create mucus and all sorts of fun stuff is purely because your body's trying to protect you from the heat that you've just put into your body. Now this actually increases your core body temperature when it's swallowed and this is why you have an increased thermogenic effect. It's not huge. It is big enough to be picked up in studies. There are a few studies out there that show that when they have a control group, um, having a placebo versus a group that has um, capsules with capsaicin in, those groups that have the capsaicin um, do increase their body fat burning by a small percentage. For me, obviously I haven't done the study myself, um, I would not know how they wouldn't know it was, a, um, it was a placebo or not because one of them would burn, one of them wasn't. But, um, I don't know. A fun little trick though, say if you have, say as a pepper, and you have joint pain or pain in a certain area, capsaicin once it's ground down into a paste can actually have a great way of exhausting that TRPV1, basically your pain receptors. So if you have something such as a joint pain and you rub a paste over the top, won't smell the best, but actually alleviate pain because say if you burn yourself, you put something on something really hot and you left it there, you'd be excruciating after a while it would just go because those TRPV1 receptors exhaust basically fatigue and stop sending signals. So if you have a particular pain and you don't want to take stuff such as anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen or something like that, which isn't great on the gut, maybe think of an exogenous um, version like, uh, like peppers. So I hope that answers the question and give you a little fun fact in there as well. Um, that it does increase thermogenesis by a very small amount, but if you are looking to um, burn body fat, then I would definitely be going more down the route of a healthier diet and lifestyle. And there are other spices out there that aren't quite as destructive on your body and painful to eat, but have a lot more better effects like um, turmeric, which is great for anti-inflammatory. Take care, guys.